Alright, what is up guys? Of course always, welcome back to the Red Cave versus T.S. Yuri. And he brought a monotype bug teams. So all are already for me, that's mad respect. Unfortunately for me, it turns out that mono... Damn it, mo <laughs> mono bug is actually quite tough for me. More so than I want to kind of lead on to. Um, Shedinia is definitely not helping. Um, wow, it's going to be rough. There are so many mods here who can't deal with Jirinia. Um But other than that, I think Pelipper is actually kind of nice. Um, for obvious reasons, like spamming the, the Thunderbolts is nice. But then we got Genesect, which just eats me alive. But I think that's kind of the point. So we're going to lean off with Dynamos. I think I want to like capture um, Genesect. Um, which, by the way, should be able to carry Fire or Fire Blast. Um, wow, yeah. I like the team, Mr. Tia Yuri. That's um, that's a lot of um, you know. If you're gonna bring monotype, I I can't help feeling that bringing Ubers is kind of widely accepted. They can only be that good, right? Bring on a Raquinid, which definitely helps me for a pretty nasty Volt Switch. And uh, I can only assume that we're going to see um, stick webs. By the way, these mods have, like, that's a thing I kind of watch out for. Uh, back to Shedinia, of course. Um, one thing that one, like, a Rackman can have is Mirror Coat. I've seen Assault Vest, Mirror Coat, and that's, um, that's kind of rough. It's tough. Right, Poltergeist guy is coming right up. Nishinug, probably my best switch in. There is no way he's going to go for um, the obvious play, which is an Exisa. I hope. Or Leech Life. Leech Life was kind of nice, isn't it? Willow! Oh. Well, worth a try. Let's see, switch into this. Turple is overall neutral, barring, of course, uh, Heracross. And I need to go for an offensive move, no matter what, unfortunately, so maybe Heracross isn't so bad after all. One thing that bothers me is that Shedinia pretty much makes sure that Seismitoad can never sweep this team. Not that it was going to anyway, but uh, this kind of prolongs it. Cabotops, however, if we get a Soul Stance going, then uh, we could, you know, it's gonna, we have to look it up, um, untangle the team a bit. New word for it in Swedish. Lukra. Means pretty much untangle. Okay, my opponent is thinking. So, I don't think he enjoys the idea of uh, this Pokemon possibly carrying something like Fire Blast. So I think he's maybe we're predicting. Yeah, that's a large maybe. Definitely was considering the situation. So he gets attack power, which is definitely nice. Star Pulse won't do anything significant. And his play should be U-turn. And I have no U-turn switch-ins. Gonna bring in Quank. There is no way Thunderbolts, that's for sure. And like I said, U-turn should be his most solid play. An attack boost definitely hurts me. But um, there is no way he goes for Thunderbolt. Fire Blast, maybe. Ice Beam, it's alright, good neutral. Question is whether or not it's Scarf, definitely hurts. And I wanna find out whether or not he can switch up moves. I got a Stunning Vault here. here. Because, um, from my assessment, that's gotta be either Scarfed or, um, or just likes Ice Beaming. <laughs> Let's find out. Yeah, it goes for the same move again, which definitely works for me. Um, Marvel Scale, bitch. So I'm hurricaning here. Um, no real reason I'm doing anything else. Because Scissor is such a good switch in. Jadinia! Oh! Oh! Piss off, man! Oh, it's sashed. How about that? And confused, aren't we all? So we can do that again. Hmm. Shadow Sneak, maybe? But I'll probably switch into my sister here. I mean, sister, while. It's not something you want damage on, and it's probably his best response to my Voltaire, but... Wow, 
wow, Frost Nest doing stuff. Who knew? Yeah, like, yeah, get out of there, son. Japanese name that is Genesect. Back at it. Get this time attack rose. How much will Hurricane do anyway? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's actually kind of impressive. Unfortunately for me, it's not that impressive that I want to stay in for a U-turn again. Um, oh, like, Flash Cannon is definitely going to hurt me. Oh, damn it. <laughs> like, this thing, this mod can do so many things, and I don't enjoy any of them. I know it has Fire Blast. I want to try to lock it in. At least he got the attack boost and not anything else. I just, I don't want to stay in. And if i lucky here, he goes for something that is like neutral, like a flash cannon or something like that. Or hurt yourself, hurt yourself, play it forward, damn it! And it will do... It's minus after all. We did manage to survive it. Unless he switch out, or can switch out moves, and the rain is still active, we got ourselves a genocide kill. On the Volt Switch, which is definitely nice. Hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Yes! <laughs> I don't know why I want it, but I'll happily take it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Hey, Genesect out of the way. Don't think we we'll often see that happening. Whoa. That was the wrong button. Anyway. Let's see, my opponent is definitely thinking here. Um, there are two mods that don't deal with well. One of them is Scissor, which is why I need my Dynamos to somewhat be in battle position. And um, Heracross, like Heracross is very, very tough on me. Mainly because I don't switch into this Pokemon at all. Like there are no good overall neutral switches for me. Let's see, how many more turns of rain do we got? Like, if I've got one turn left, it's gonna be a piss. <laughs> Somebody need to soak a close combat. Or earthquake. Or both. So I switched in my Seismic Toad as it is so expendable for this matchup, barring the Volcarona. Uh, close combat, yeah. It's gonna definitely sting. Do I even dare? I gotta do it. On the off chance that it doesn't go to his shit in ya. Though he'll probably think I could stealth rock here, over predicting it. No, no he wouldn't. But I sure as hell am not in a position to kind of take that with me. I'm pretty sure there's a Scarf Moxie variant. Though anything kind of do. did hurt me though. That definitely did hurt me. I just... I couldn't bring myself to bring Pelipper, at least not yet. Yeah, withdraws, and I think that's the right play. Back to Shedin, yeah, yeah, nothing to it. Ah, it's a damn shame, to be honest. Rain stopped, sure did. Because, like, his best play, no matter what I do, is probably Poltergeisting. I don't want to bring in Quack on the off chance that that's not the option he goes for. And Nishinu can very much die to an Exisa. <laughs> that's also my best play. That makes it all worse. Um, please, Willow again. I beg of you. Or Memento. Poltergeist. Oh, thank God. Like, this won't do anything to me. Or, probably do something, but... Not something I can't, like... Manage. So now I think his combination should be an Ixisa. So, we're bringing Quack. And, uh, pretty much secure our Hurricane. I wanna keep Shedinia at an arm's length. If, if, if possible, that is. 
withdraws. Nice. To Heracross. Right. So. He should be carrying. That's the thing, though. He should be carrying Stone Edge. I'm taking that risk. No! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Not Moxie, so it's Guts. So, right. I should assume he's Scarfed. There's no way of me of telling whether or not he was that. But yeah, liquidation here. Withdraws. Nice. Two. Scissor. Ooh. Gonna take that full blow. I wonder how defensive you are. Yeah. Yeah. Rocky Helmets. I'll, I'll say that's somewhat defensive. I'll still go for liquidation though. I can't. Uh, I can't take that gamble. Bullet punch will do a lot of damage, and so will this. So scissor is out, which helps. Um, life four ball. I mean, it turns to I even got left in me, right? That's um, fuck. <laughs> All right. So Shedinia comes back in. I gotta assume he has Shadow Sneak on this. So to Nishinook, I just I can't um, I can't take that risk. Yeah. Captain Obvious. So I'm Dark Pulsing here. This time I actually think he sacks it. Maybe. If he sacks it, that means at least that Seismic Token starts doing some damage. You know, Stealth Rock on this team would not have been half bad. <laughs> because pretty much my play from here is not sacking Hydreigon, at least not yet. Even though it's in theory losing. Ah, oh, we draws. Damn it. To Araquanid. That might work though. Tarpal's not gonna do anything. And um no, one stick web coming right up. Cause I oh, do I wanna do that? Like he got some really boosted nasty shit coming my way. I just think I'm gonna go Donimus. At this point, I'm actually kind of relying on uh, somehow being able to set up with um, let's see, stick web or leech life. Yeah, nice. Leech life is definitely better. Oh, crit, sure. Kind of thought that liquidation would be the proper or you no know, better overall play. Question is, how badly do I want to volt switch? I think I'll go to Valtir here. Because I think his best play is Shedinia. As it walls this set completely. He does decide to withdraw, which is good. Goes to Shedinia. You've seen that I got Hurricane. Which should be enough for him to consider switching out. So, Quiver Dancing. Um, like, would you risk the hurricane? I think he was heavily considered. Ghost of all Corona. Good. 
The only bad part about this is that, by the way, you get to see this matchup. <laughs> the only bad part about this situation is, besides me being heavily weak to Fire Blast, is... Uh, oh, we outspeed, nice. He has to Quiver Dance himself. I'm getting very much special defense on this. It's just whether or not Fire Blast or Fire Dance, I guess, is enough to kill me at my double special defense. It wasn't, but I only get one more chance. Land this Hurricane Frost, lass. No, Frost Moth. I need this to happen badly. If we can do this. Yes! Yes! Fuck, this is so cool! <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Unfortunately, the Shadow Sneaks are back! <laughs> know what? No, I came too far for this to happen. I am absolutely fucking you over, buddy! Yeah, I'll, I'll say this. Barring that I survived a Shadow Sneak at this point, which I'm probably not. But, I want my Frostmouth game. I've come too far. That said though, I think actually this Shadinia wins the game. No matter what. See, Shadow Sneak will do... Ha <laughs> ha Eat this buddy! Fuck off, Shadinia! I am not! I am so not tolerating that Pokemon! This is also my way of saying my opponent absolutely won. I am... Uh... <laughs> I, I did everything I could and I think my opponent played this game largely better than me. Largely better than me. <laughs> So if he decides not to Dynamax, uh, then I'm, I think I just forfeit in uh, in good favor of my opponent. <laughs> because right now we're like three, four minutes left of the game. And uh, yeah, exactly. Dynamax, buddy, you earned this. And there is no way I should kill. So if anything, I think this is probably the better wrap up anyway. <laughs> because a water... Like, no, he shouldn't go for a water move effectively boosted my speed on my Kabutops, that would be um, an unfortunate event. Let's see, Earthstream will do around half, I think, at best. Yeah, somewhere around there. That's fair. <laughs> oh, that was a crit. Please. And please go for a water move. Max Mindstorm! Oh, you sucker! You sucker! Oh, and it... Wow. Was it special based? No. Yeah, the battlefield definitely got weird. No. Still, that was a crit. I wonder. Am I in range here? Am I really in range? I was. Anyway, so now... There's only Hero Cross left, and I think it locks itself into close combat and actually win. I do outspeed, which is nice, but I hardly think an Ice Beam is enough to kill. I have mean, plus two though. And any of my remaining mons can't beat a full close combat from Hero Cross, so. I go for Ice Beam and I tip the hat to my opponents. Because. I can't risk the hurricane. I never had to. Anyway, my opponent, as he Dynamax himself, I guess I take the win. But honestly, yeah, my opponent won this game. Hands down. That close combat, Hero Cross won this game. Nothing to it. Um, that Shedinia was absolutely the end of my existence, and Dynamax was my only option of winning. And um, so by default, I lose. Anyway. <laughs> I just I really wanted a proper frost. Finally got the frost map game I wanted. Anyway, as always, guys, thank you for watching and consider. I'm just gonna say that a mono bug team lost to a frost last frost map, and it lost to 
of Volker with a loss of Frostmoth. That, you, you guys saw that happening here. Anyway, fuck it. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.